taxiway, man. He's just hanging on. So does a deleted scene from Top Gun Maverick complicate the storyline for Top Gun 3? And how does the breakout star of Top Gun 3 pose a challenge for the franchise's future? Well, let's take a deep dive into all that we know about Top Gun Maverick. So for those still wondering about the fate of Top Gun 3, here's the scoop. It's officially in the works, but there's no concrete timeline on when we'll get to see Maverick back in action. The news of the third installment being greenlit came in January 2024, with Aaron Kruger, co-writer of Top Gun Maverick, tackling the script. There's also buzz that Joseph Kaczynski, the director of the sequel, will be back for round three. However, according to producer Jerry Bruckheimer, don't hold your breath for an immediate release. He mentioned that while they have a solid story idea and Tom Cruise is on board with it, his jam-packed schedule is a major hurdle. We have a story, Joe Kaczynski had a wonderful story idea for it, and Tom said, I really like that, so we're developing it, he explained to Screen Rant. But you never know when it's going to get made because Tom is so busy. He's doing Mission Impossible right now, he's got a picture after it. Hopefully we'll get a screenplay that he loves and we'll be back in the air again. So when can we expect to see Top Gun 3 hit screens? Well, Paramount hasn't dropped any official release dates just yet. Let's hope it won't take another 36 years for the sequel to come out. I mean, can you imagine Tom Cruise still pulling off those intense stunts at 89? Anything's possible with him, but let's not push it. According to Bruckheimer, Cruise's busy schedule might put a hold on things for a while. Considering the lengthy filming process of the sequel, even if they kick off production this year, we're probably looking at a 2026 release at the earliest. But hey, keep an eye out here for updates. We'll keep you posted as soon as we hear more. Now, let's talk cast. Obviously, Tom Cruise will be back as the iconic Pete Maverick Mitchell, but it seems like Miles Teller's Bradley Rooster Bradshaw might take more of the spotlight this time around. Teller seems keen on returning, mentioning some talks with Cruise about it. Glenn Powell, who played Jake Hangman Sarazen, is confirmed to make a comeback too. As for the rest of the gang, it's a bit up in the air. Jennifer Connelly could potentially reprise her role as Penny now that her character's relationship with Maverick has been reignited. And we might see more of the newbies, like Lewis Pullman as Robert Bob Floyd and Monica Barbaro as Natasha Phoenix Trace. John Hamm is open to returning as Vice Admiral Bo Cyclone Simpson, but no official discussions have happened yet. Unfortunately, Val Kilmer's Iceman won't be making a comeback, as he met his end in the sequel. However, with the clever use of flashback footage in Maverick, we might still get glimpses of Kilmer or other original cast members in Top Gun 3. With that said, what's the scoop on Top Gun 3's potential plot? Well, much like its predecessor, Top Gun Maverick didn't exactly leave breadcrumbs for a sequel, but there's definitely some drama left to explore. In a nutshell, Maverick returns to Top Gun to mentor a new batch of pilots, all gearing up for a challenging mission, taking down a uranium plant in a super tricky location. After some back and forth, Maverick ends up leading the mission alongside his protege, Rooster Bradshaw, Goose's son. The movie's main tension revolves around Maverick and Rooster's rocky relationship, but by the end, they're all good. In a surprising turn of events, the Top Gun crew nails the mission without casualties, and Maverick even rekindles things with his love interest, Penny, played by Jennifer Connelly. They literally ride off into the sunset together. So where does this leave us for Top Gun 3? Well, it's a bit up in the air. Another round of Maverick training recruits seems unlikely. While it wasn't explicitly stated that Maverick's last mission in Maverick was, well, his last, it certainly had that vibe. Remember, he was grounded by his superior Cyclone, played by John Hamm, at one point, only to defy orders and hop back into the cockpit. With that being said, the deleted scene from Top Gun Maverick creates a bit of a challenge for the potential story of Top Gun 3. While the sequel introduced new characters and expanded their roles, the focus remained squarely on Maverick, played by Tom Cruise. Although Top Gun was primarily about Maverick, the sequel gave more screen time to supporting characters like Rooster, Hangman, and Cyclone, played by Miles Teller, Glenn Powell, and John Hamm, respectively. However, a deleted scene featuring Cyclone and Phoenix was axed to keep the spotlight on Maverick. This decision underscored a recurring issue. Top Gun Maverick prioritized Maverick's story over the development of its supporting characters, 
leaving intriguing personas like Phoenix and Bob largely ignored. Monica Barbaro's Phoenix, for example, could have explored important themes like misogyny in the Navy, while Lewis Pullman's Bob stood out among his macho peers, yet their potential was overshadowed by Maverick's narrative arc. The ending of Maverick's story in Top Gun Maverick leaves room for Top Gun 3 to focus more on the characters surrounding him. While the sequel's success justified its approach, the franchise can't continue to sideline its supporting stars. Top Gun 3 needs to give characters like Phoenix and Bob more screen time and depth, offering viewers a broader perspective beyond Maverick's viewpoint. As Top Gun 3 takes shape, it's crucial to avoid repeating the mistake of overshadowing supporting characters. Rooster and Hangman already garnered fan favoritism with limited focus, suggesting that Phoenix and Bob could be equally compelling if given the chance. By providing more space for these characters to shine, Top Gun 3 can create an ensemble cast that captivates audiences and expands the series' world beyond Maverick's journey. Powell's portrayal of Hangman in Top Gun Maverick certainly made waves, but it also presents a challenge for the future of the franchise. While his character added depth to the sequel, integrating him into Top Gun 3's storyline might prove tricky now that Powell has ascended to A-list status. Powell's roles in other projects like Anyone But You and the upcoming Twisters underscore his rising star power, making it essential for Top Gun 3 to evolve his character beyond a mere antagonist. The dilemma lies in how to balance the spotlight among the main characters. Both Maverick and Rooster are crucial to the franchise's narrative, Maverick has always been at the center of the Top Gun universe, and Rooster's arc in Top Gun Maverick added depth to the series. However, the success of Hangman's character begs for a more significant role in the sequel. Yet integrating Hangman into the storyline without overshadowing Maverick and Rooster poses a narrative challenge. With the series historically centered around Maverick, shifting the focus to accommodate Hangman's expanded role may require a significant reimagining of the franchise's direction. Furthermore, Top Gun 3 must also address the supporting characters introduced in Top Gun Maverick, such as Phoenix and Bob, whose stories remain unexplored. Ultimately, the success of Hangman's character highlights a broader issue – the franchise's need to move beyond Maverick eventually. While Maverick has been the linchpin of the series, there is potential to delve into the stories of other characters. Whether Top Gun 3 broadens its focus or risks squandering Hangman's potential remains to be seen, but one thing is clear – the franchise must evolve to thrive in the future. How do you think Top Gun 3 should navigate the challenge of integrating Hangman's character into the storyline without overshadowing Maverick and Rooster? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.